Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Merry Christmas. Today on the show, Courtney and I are going to construct charcuterie chalets. That's right, it's a gingerbread house, but it's made out of meat. Or in our case, it'll be like crackers and cheese and a little bit of meat. This is incredibly uh, opulent, perhaps a little bit wasteful if we don't eat everything, and totally over the top. Uh, I think we spent more money on this episode than probably any other that I can recall. But yeah, Vinny is going absolutely nuts because the snacks are within reach. You just can't believe it. <laughs> so yeah, Courtney and I are gonna be hanging out. We'll be snacking as we go. And yeah, I'll tell you about some of the things that we have uh, today. We have some fig and olive crackers. I just tried these, they're very sweet, but pretty good. Got some miniature breadsticks. I don't know what these are called, but they look like building materials, which is why I picked them. I think these are poppy seed crackers. I forget what these are called. It's like something, grain cakes or something. We've got some beet chips, which I really like beets. And we have these very large artisan crackers. Oh, they're rosemary flavored. And we got more crackers too, if we need them. So this, I think this is uncured salchichon. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Salchichon. Salchichon. This is uncured chorizo. This is jamón serrano. I've got, I think, Genoa sopressata and then regular hard salami. And then for our cheeses, we've got some Gouda, some kind of like raw milk cheese, Spanish semi-soft sheep, sheep milk cheese called uh, Cordobes, I think. Oh, that's the brand name, I'm not sure. We got miniature mozzarella balls, I think they're cute. Some pork pate, some homegrown pickled garlic scapes, and some Kalamata olives. And then here in my, we'll call it my masonry palette, I have a series of cheeses and dips to try to hold everything together. So this is garlic and herb goat cheese, farmer's cheese. This is jalapeno cheese dip, roasted garlic hummus, and labneh which is a soft cheese. We've got other things floating around, but without further ado, we should start start building, I think. And to celebrate the, the seasonal cheer, Gordon and I are, will split a Bold Rock roast coffee cider. Cody actually did send us this one, by the way. All right, it's like champagne bubbles. Cheers. It tastes like apple coffee. It's pretty good. I don't like the smell, but it tastes really good. All right, let's get down to business. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna build a box. So this, I think, will be one of the harder parts, is just getting the, the structure laid down. But I've got some ideas on how to do that. Also, these crackers are a little bent. You can see the curvature. My idea, I think, if I do the inward bowing, it should make it easier for them to lean on each other. Okay, it's my basic box. God, these smell great. They smell like rosemary. Wow, it's finished. All right, I think the goat cheese is the thickest. So I think I'm gonna start with a, a goat cheese bottom. Also, I was thinking about using those breadsticks as supports. Bill, how much planning have you done into, into how you're gonna make this and craft it? I've done an, almost no planning. I thought we were gonna talk about it before we started. We're going for it. Yeah, we're just going for it. All right. With very little cheese adhesive, actually, I was able to get that to stay up. No one cares about your problems, Vietnam. Shush! Shut up! I can tell you one thing, this is gonna be a huge mess. Huge mess? What do you mean? I'm gonna make a mess making this. I know that's hard to believe. Mmm. Heck, goat cheese is good. Goat cheese. Uh, oh, oh! oh no. <laughs> Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> so here I am smearing the goat cheese. This is gonna be such a bitch to clean. It would be so dope if these actually linked together, but they don't. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can. I bet you I could use the, these as supports this way too. What if I made a like a, a multi-story house? That's ambitious. This feels so ridiculous already. By the way, hey, get out of here. Maybe a. I'm gonna need a bunch of napkins. I can tell you that right now. So far, my ideas are working. All right, so it's like our corner beams. Ooh, I bet you I could, I could apply cheese to the outside too. All right, let's see how much integrity I've built into this thing. Ooh yeah, I'm gonna get more goat cheese. You gotta show off. You should get a napkin too. <laughs> I will. Just shoving cheese everywhere. All right. All right. My basic box. Hmm. How am I gonna build a roof? Hard to say. Be creative. <laughs> All 
Everything's gonna be so much more fun once I have the basic box done. I wanna try to get a, uh, a steeped roof on it. I feel like that would be pretty cool. I broke the breadstick. <laughs> No problem. Probably not the wisest choice to be like building my roof with a broken cracker, but it's the one that's available. <laughs> All right, we just filled up a memory card on the camera, so we, that's why we lost some footage. But I've got my basic box on a roof. Courtney's got a much more progressive design. So I don't know, is that a roof? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. We're, we're still building away. We've, we've gone through one log of goat cheese. I think it's time to open the next log of goat cheese. Oh no. Oh no. I'm most looking forward to covering the roof in meat. Yeah. I feel like that'll be the most fun part. Anytime anything feels the slightest bit wavery, I'll just put some more cheese on it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> cheese everywhere. Cheese disaster. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to give me an honorary design degree. They'll be knocking at the door. I have no idea if that's gonna stay, but it looks nice. Okay, let's start shellacking on the roof. It's gonna, it's an open second story. Well, I, on one side I, I got a, a decorative cracker. <laughs> I guess I could try to even it out. That's my knife. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was mine. No. My bad. Now here's the question. How am I gonna affix these meats to the house? Probably the same way. I'm gonna try different things. That kind of cheese works pretty well. Mm -mm -mm. Salami. This is perverse, what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> the true challenge, putting meat on the opposite side of the roof. That's you leave that salami alone. I know you're Italian, but you can't have it. No salami for the mini. I just wanna seal the top with this this ham. <laughs> That's what I'm looking to do. It's so perverse! It's so perverse! It the goes. house of meats! Man, what a journey we're on. I've literally reached for your knife like three times in a row. That's good ham. Oh, that's good. Holy shit, that's good. That's the that's the best meat so far. Dang. I feel like we're gonna get so sick from eating all this. Probably worth it though. Gotta make sure the roof's tight so my kids don't get rained on. Okay. This is coming along nicely. Yeah, that's like a, a window. Can't see it. It's not like a window. Well, this could be a good door though. A fancy door. What's the worst that could happen? This meat smelling so good, it's got me hungry. I gotta start snacking more. <laughs> Very amused. Time to start slicing the cheese. You wanna try a piece of gouda? Mmm, that's really good. Shit, that's good. Wow, it's so strong. Holy moly. Whew. Strong cheese. Definitely not covering this with 100% cheese. Maybe I'll do cheese, cheese and olives. This is like the best part so far is just eating all this cheese. This cheese is powerfully good. <laughs> I'm kind of running out of ideas. Well, I covered the roof. I have two more walls I can put shit on. Could do a walking path with these beet chips. Let's let's take a look at the front of this. I'm sure you guys didn't probably see where all my efforts went, but here's my charcuterie chalet with a beet chip path forward, nuts on the side. Vinny, you stop it. And yeah, I, I thought this was really fun. We're all done. We could have just kept adding stuff, but you guys get the idea. It was really fun. We probably spent a couple hours building these. And I feel like we did it fast enough that like none of the meat's really gross. It's still kind of cool. So that that's good. And I think there's enough structural integrity that mine actually can be moved. So I'm pretty proud of that. It's really tough to do. I spent so much time making it, but the whole point of this is to eat it. So I'm gonna just tear the roof open. Here's my roof. Ow. And uh, yeah, you can just, uh, you know, eat it. Maybe dip it in some mustard. It's good. Surprisingly, all the ingredients go pretty well together. There's nothing we've had. Nothing tastes weird. It all works well together. Probably don't do this with anything too expensive because you might have, uh, you know, compromise the, the quality. But yeah, this is what Court and I are gonna have for dinner. We're gonna eat a couple houses. So that's how you do it. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hope you have an excellent new year. I don't know if I hope if you do this, but it was fun. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye.